We've got an update on what TCL is calling the trifolder. This is a concept. Last time we saw the device, it was a dummy unit. This time, the trifolder was a working model. Let's walk you through what it's like to get your hands on this very weird device. When I picked up the trifolder, it was in its smallest form. It looked like a triple stacked phone. When it was in this stack, the weight was very noticeable. It's a hefty, hefty machine. That makes plenty of sense. It starts off as a sort of pocketable sized device. It's kind of tall and narrow. When completely folded, the edge of the device can show off extra information. It's like what Samsung did with the original edge devices. Then when opened, you're looking at a massive 10 inch screen. When the weight is redistributed to tablet dimensions, it doesn't seem as heavy. The screen is definitely plasticky. When you run your fingers over the display, you can feel bumps and ridges. When I was cleaning the screen to remove fingerprints for this video, a crinkly sound could be heard when the cloth went over the screen. How about actually using the device? How did it perform? Okay, not exactly well. Now TCL was quick to remind me that this was a concept device and not all the bugs were worked out. I totally agree. I tried some simple things like opening up apps and using the keyboard. They kind of worked. Touches did not always register, especially in the middle portion of the screen. When switching from tablet mode to phone mode, the trifolder was a bit laggy in displaying the proper home screen for the size of the device. Now watching video on the trifolder was relatively nice though. A demo video showed off what the trifolder could do in theory. There was lots of multitasking with lots of apps up at one time. Unfortunately, I did not get to experience that multitasking experience firsthand. The screen seemed nice and sharp when it was in that video mode. Now let's talk about hinges. There are two. One is a beast, the other not so much, but both felt very sturdy. When I tried to overflex part of the screen beyond the normal range of the hinge, the hinge would not budge. Now I didn't try too hard if I broke the trifolder, that could have been a problem. I also compared the screen of the folder with a new Moto Razor. They had a similar feel as could be expected. What I did not expect was getting the Razor stuck to the folder's middle section. There's a very strong magnet in the middle of the middle portion of the trifolder that keeps everything together when the tablet is in phone mode. Now I asked about what kind of software modifications TCL would have to do to make these devices work well. A rep told me that they are working with Google to make the experiences on foldables and sliders work well. The latest version of Android has support for foldables. TCL is trying some new approaches, so we'll have to see how things work out. Here's the bad news. A company representative said the trifolder is not officially coming to the market. I think for the time being, that makes the most sense. The concept model I got to play with needed a lot of refinement before it would be ready for consumers. This is more of a foldable tablet than a phone. For travel, I think it could be amazing though. I would love to see this kind of function on other Androids or even a Windows machine. Now TCL said it is working on three dozen different concept devices. Maybe one of them will actually be for sale one day. I think these wild concepts are always great. If interest is high enough, TCL could change its mind. Otherwise, the devices could inspire other companies to try weirder ideas. Hey, if you really, really want a foldable phone, check this out. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. If you've got any questions, comments, or news, let me know on Twitter. I'm at Ayaz. Also, I'm releasing a video interview with the head of Google Assistant there, so check that out. I'm Ayaz Zaktar, and I'll see you online. Thank you.